Hello friends, I'm Julie with Bookshelf by Julie and I'm back to share with you um, one of the last elements I'm making for uh, this summer garden journal I've been working on for like ages. So I thought I would uh, bring you along on my craft construction, okay? <laughs> I've done this on camera before um, to do a, um, a photo flip. Sorry, I always work from a project box. It's just how I do things. Okay, so what I've done is gotten everything ready for this photo flip that's going to go as part of the center spread for um, the second signature in this journal. And that is, excuse me, that is somewhere in here. No, that's not it. That's not it either. Where's the middle? Okay, here it is. <laughs> okay, I'll find things eventually. Okay, so this one is uh, going to have a twin sitting over here. And that's what we're going to create today. Um, I kept this pretty flat and very simple uh, for this center spread so that I didn't bulk this up too much. Like I said, I'm coming to the end of this uh, journal journey and you get a little conservative at this point <laughs> um, because, you know, they do get bulky and so yeah. So here we go. What we're going to do is create this photo flip. Now this, um, you always measure this to go with what uh, size you're working with on a journal page or whatever you're putting the photo flip into. Um, so this one, I'll get you some measurements here. Uh, this one is four on, on the inside is what you measure to by five and a half. These are one and three quarters. And this is two and three quarters. <clears throat> so that's what we're going to do. Let's put this together. And hopefully soon I'll do a flip through of this um, completed summer garden journal. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so let's just start putting things down. I used on these um, a very muted um, digital uh, that I created for Summer Roses paper pack. Yeah, so this is, um, yeah, from that paper pack, it's on my Etsy. So let's just start putting this stuff down and we'll see where we go from there. Got to get all this off. Well, not all of it because, you know, I like to leave that one piece of tape on them in situations like this because, yeah, <clears throat> excuse my reach again. Uh, you just don't want to, you want to have a little bit of something to hold on to when you're placing this. Um... I guess I could have done a bunch of this off the off video and then came on and shown you the final final of it. But this is where I started it, so we'll just go from there. Okay. All right. You want that on pretty uh, straight-ish. <laughs> you don't want to go too crazy about. Oh, it's got to be perfect because I don't know that I've ever made a perfect um, journal or element or you know anything like that. it's just they're all unique unique means they're a little bit different and maybe a little bit skiwampus as the cowboys say they uh, might get a little bit 
off center maybe <laughs> um, you just want to do your best to keep it as straight ish as possible and you want to try to stay out of those folds um, so yeah So, yeah, I'm glad I'm getting to the end of this. I, I don't know. Making a journal is, it is a journey. And finishing it is sort of bittersweet for me. I, I love making it and I love planning the project. Um, putting things together and how am I going to do this and what do I want to put there. But finishing it is like well that's the end of that one well it is my part of the is the end making it um somebody else's journey begins um this one's also going to a special person <clears throat> but she doesn't watch my channel so i'm safe with showing these <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's one of those things you know <clears throat> she's busy with other things <laughs> so hopefully when she gets it though she'll love it it's uh it's taken me quite a while to put it together when i make a journal specifically for someone that i know i try to Put elements in the journal that's specifically geared towards that person things that I think they'll like things I think they'll make them smile <clears throat> you know stuff like that so they become part of my mindset I guess <laughs> my planning oh what am I gonna do with that would she like this would she like it that way you know <clears throat> and you never know till the end and you and the person gets the journal and, and then they say oh yeah it was great or wow that was awesome you know there's a little bit of different feedback <laughs> um, some people aren't into journals <laughs> okay uh, but well a lot of people think they're pretty and it gives them a, a special place to showcase special memories and activities and things like that. So I do love making these interactive journals. They're just a lot of fun for me. So, yeah. Hello again, friends. So my phone decided to have a technical difficulty. And, um, yeah, I was talking to you just like you were right here with me. And not even my phone was with me. So <laughs> here we go. We'll try this again. Um, and I'll put the videos together. So I've matted everything <laughs> on this, uh, photo flip except for the back of course all right so what i'm doing now is is putting the um the photo um flip part in uh waterfall whatever you want to call it i've already talked about that before <laughs> now it just seems a little weird to talk about something i just talked about and it's gone into the ether of nowhere so okay anyways here we go um Putting these in. <clears throat> Gosh. <laughs> what a thing. Um, it 
it's like living under Murphy's Law, you know. Murphy's Law. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Um, when you do a video, boy, does that apply. Gosh. Okay. So, I thought I would share you share with you this uh, picnic of mine. It's, it's just a, you know, try to get it straight and put it down and uh, such. So, yeah, it's not, it's not too complicated. I remember when I first started um, putting the photo flips together, they were a little bit complicated then um, for me. Uh, some people just can do them and they work out just great and, you know, but it took me a little while to get things to working the way I wanted them to, to for everything to be lined up and straight and or at least straight-ish. So, I think the more you see this kind of thing done, the better. Um, just a little bit, you know, a little bit tedious, but not, not terrible. Once you get used to it, and you know where to line things up at, you're okay. Um, you're keeping your sides... Uh, your side space because you want that space there so that you've got room to put the pictures in and this thing will still close up right so yeah I'm going to have room for for five of these I put five in the other one so I kind of already had a an idea of what to put in this one so <clears throat> the uh the next thing I'm going to do is the, the closure for this. Now, when I first started using grommets, I think I was a little intimidated by them because eyelets, you know, you just push that in there and it's one thing and it squashes on both sides and it's pretty simple, you know. But I ran out of a certain kind of grommet that I, I like those bronzy looking ones that are um they look vintagey you know so okay that's all the ones I'm putting in here now the person has a space here to put pictures or journaling or whatever they want to put and plus 10 pictures and I'm also going to make a journaling card to go this side <laughs> because it goes on that other page so it'll go in this side for that and like I said, I'm keeping this pretty flat. I'll, of course, put lace on it because, yeah, I do that. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how I do grommets. Now, I'm sure everybody has their own grommet way of doing things, right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, for me, like I said, I was a little intimidated, but I wanted the specific color I wanted. You know, you ever been that way? No, I don't want that. I want this one. Um, and they didn't have those, you know, how we get out of things. <clears throat> and so, <laughs> since they didn't have what I wanted, I had to learn to use what they had. So I did that. I, um, I just put me a little dot in there just in case you think I'm eyeballing that. Um, <laughs> no, I don't do that because you can get way off, <laughs> way, way, way way off if you try to eyeball a circle that's kind of nuts now i'm gonna place this on here where i want it and then i'm gonna get my pencil and do this number there and then i'm gonna place this one here right under that one so that they're straight ish where i want that one and then i'm gonna draw my circle here it works for me um other people do things other ways and that's fine that works for them <laughs> so I'm gonna just put my uh, which one am I oh there I'm using the big one uh, so I'm gonna just pop that hole right in there and get rid of that and put this one right in here I just sort of center my little circle that I made um, over 
in the middle of that little hole, you know, because you can see up in there, right? So that's what you do with that. Now, this bottom one is easier because, um, and these grommets are just a touch bigger than, than your normal um, eyelet. So you got to get a little bit um, serious with them. <laughs> uh, a little bit forceful. There you go. And so what I do is I put my crocodile. I don't know if you can see that. It's on the little silver raised mound one. I don't see a letter or anything. Anyways. So you put the bottom of the grommet, which is this doohickey here. Oh, I zoomed right in on that one, didn't I? Okay, then you put it in there and hold this very still um, so that that doesn't shift around. And then you place that in there and give it a good squashing. And you've got... A nice smooth surface on this side and a nice smooth surface on this side. All right? Okay. Now that's the top, right? Yeah, that's the top. Okay. Now my little discs are an inch and a half. Yeah, inch and a half that I'm using to do this with. Um, so what I'm going to do on this one that's a little different so you're just normally putting things in. I'm going to go ahead and put my ribbon that I'm going to use to, to tie this off. I'm going to put that in there just a little bit. And then I'm going to put this over here. Uh, okay. Yeah, because you want that to be centered over that hole. And I use my awl to, like I said, get serious with that grommet because it's just a touch bigger than the eyelets that you use for the for the um, the big hole punch. So, and I don't have a hole punch that's bigger than that. So, and you want to get that squashed down around there really well, especially since you got this little thing hanging out there. Okay. So, you get this again, and uh, I have to hold it a certain way <laughs> to get it to, to go on there. So, you just lay it so that it's, I know you can't see that, but you just lay it so that it's centered on that um, silver mound thing. And then you place it over here carefully, because if it shifts, then it won't work. So then you get it on there and you squash the, you know, heck out of it. <clears throat> and how did that do that? It shifted. Golly and Bob. Okay, we'll try it again. Um, when they when they do that, they're no good. You have to redo it. So let me get another one. Like I said, they were intimidating. Now I'm like, well, okay, fine. Because um, I've used them for a while. They're not as easy as just a regular eyelet. Because, yeah, they, <clears throat> they can be all kinds of tedious. See if I can hold things so that nothing shifts. You get in there and... Squash it real good. Hopefully, it looks like that worked. I don't see it anywhere. So, okay. That looks like it worked really well. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. Yeah, that's good. Ah, grommets. They're a good substitute, but yeah, I do prefer... Um, the eyelets, they're just easier. Come on. You want to, I just give myself a little bit of extra on this because, yeah. 
you don't want to get shortchanged on something like that. Okay, and there's our element. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and place this in the um, in the journal. Make sure I'm right side up and everything, because this one's going to have the journal card going in this way. So I'll put tape here, here, and here. Right? <laughs> I think so. Okay. Uh, let me see where I am. Top, bottom. I'm going to put it on each end. And then I'll go from there. I know, I'm weird, but... It's uh, it's a thing. I just don't want to get it backwards. Like I said, I'm almost finished with this journal. I'm putting in its last little bits and pieces. Top. <laughs> and so, I want to have it here. This is the side that gets the tape. So, yeah, it's, it's a little more frustrating when you get to the end and you mess up than it is when you're at the beginning because then you just go, oh, well, whatever. Um, towards the end, you, you just, you want it to be, um, just work out. <laughs> uh, so, okay. Now... I think that one looks really good. Okay. Very pretty. Hopefully this person is going to love it. I know she likes to take pictures. Um, I guess we all do nowadays. It's just so easy to do. You've got your, um, your phone with you everywhere you go. So it's just easy and simple. And sometimes you, you make a cherished memory. Um, just with the little click on your phone. This person really loves animals. Um, so I'm going to put some charms in hers that are... Well, she likes dogs a lot. So um, I've got some really, really cute little charms that... I think she'll like. And if she doesn't want to leave them in her journal, she can always take them out and make a, a charm bra bracelet out of them. Okay, I'm on this line. I'm on this line. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Okay. I do have some faint lines on these pages that I can kind of go by. Let me take this off and give it a good squashing. I want them to be even as possible, but you know, sometimes you're a little bit uneven, and that's okay. All right, that one's in there. I just still have to make my lace on there, which is fine. See this one, you open it up, and I just put lace down this side here. And right under the, well, if I showed it to you, you could see, right under the um, edge there. And I did the, the ribbon the same way for the closure. So it holds it in. You don't have to really worry about a knot or anything. So, yeah, I just have to do my lace on it and do a few more things. And then I'm on to sewing in the signatures and get around there. Gosh. I don't know why things have to be complicated. Like I said, Murphy's Law. This goes on so easy. And then, you know, on video. It, and this one's trying to be all silly, too. Come on, get around there. Uh, these are backed. These circles are backed with file folder. So print it out on cardstock, lightweight cardstock. And then, you know, on file folder. So they're really good and sturdy. They're not going to go anywhere. Um, just let me put this back in here and then I'll get my lace in there. Um, yeah, that's getting ready to, this is the front element for it. I think that's cute too. Um, 
anyways, this is the second signature, just about finished, ready to do the um, sewing the signatures in. I've got I've got my little thingy ready to to do that. Hold the book still for me, yeah. So I think it's really cute. I'll do a whole flip through when I get it finished, and hopefully you guys will like it. Uh, it's been a fun journal journey. <laughs> okay. So that's it for this video. Another photo flip in the bank. Or the journal, right? <laughs> okay, so if you could find it in your heart to like and subscribe, that would just be awesomely wonderful. Um, thanks for watching. TTFN.